What's up guys and welcome back to Broken Age. In the last episode, well, we were trying to figure out how we can get the show rolling and now we are actually in more of Alex's ship. I remembered his name this time, Ooh, but what is in this book over here? Looks like part of the old ship controls. Oh my. There's a decayed old logbook here. All right then, so this seems to be, is this going to be the Hexapal signature for the other Hexapal? that she has, because it probably is. And we have come to the, to the conclusion that the ship itself is lying to us. Tomorrow we will try to land on one of the hostile planets, which as far as we know, might not even be. Oh my gosh. That's Alex's parents probably writing that? They knew that and they didn't tell him? Okay then. This has to be. But I wanted to try something really quickly. Now that Alex isn't in the main part of the ship, what happens if we try this bad boy again? Let's just go ahead and do that. Didn't work that time, but it should have. Alex, did you disable my death ray? Okay, it didn't work that time. I need to find out where I can put a hexy bow. Like, is this a little station for it? I guess not. I need to find out where I can find one. I'm guessing it would be, I'm not sure, like, in the kitchen somewhere? Like, it wasn't in here, right? If not, I'll just keep adventuring uh, Alex's ship for now. Yep, it's definitely not in here. So let's go back to Shay and see what we can do. There's just so much, it's, it's hard figuring it all out. But let's just keep looking around. Maybe there'll be something more? Okay, I guess not. Um, hmm, what's going on? Oh my, what is that? Did you see something? What, another breach? No, not exactly. Oh, good because I have enough to worry about up here. This isn't good. We got bad guys on this ship. All right then, let's go in and find out. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get mugged or nothing. Oh man, oh gosh. Hello. Are you guys from the old ship? Have you been down here 300 years all alone? Whoa, Aww. so would you mind if I just scooted by into the... Hey, 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 okay, all right. You don't want me in there, okay? That's cool. I got other stuff to do. What the fuck up? Okay, maybe Spoon could talk to him. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Oh, come on. All right then, so I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> they are not letting us by though, I can tell you that much, so that's an issue. But hopefully we can figure it out later. Um, Maybe we can befriend them somehow, that'd be nice. I wouldn't want to fight them. Oh boy. Whoa. It's a music morgue. Oh no. This is creepy. This is what 300 years of abuse will do some to, to a place. Okay then, so what can we mess with here? A little robot head. Hey, looks like a radio. Hmm. hmm, like a broken radio. Oh no. So, let's check this out really quick. I wish I knew how to fix this radio. Maybe we can find out soon. Uh, what is this? Hmm. This harp's still kind of intact. Maybe with the right musician, it could still sound great. Hmm, okay then, if we knew somebody who could play harp. Wait, doesn't somebody from, I feel like somebody's from Bailey's family has said at some point in time that they know how to play harp. Maybe I'm just getting things mixed up. Um, what about the big old drum? And there's a missing hammer over here. Still sounds drummy. That's good. Uh, what's this? Dang, someone stole the drum mallet. I could have really made some noise with that thing. Yeah, but what is this note next to it? It says, Alexander, honey, if you always put your drum mallet back where it goes, you'll always know where it is. Should have listened to your mother, Alex. <laughs> you, sh you should be talking, right? <laughs> okay, then. Um, what is what is with all this stuff? Another xylophone? Such a shame. This is what happens when you don't take care of your instruments for 300 years. Yep. Okay, then. That's about everything for the ship, then. There really isn't that much of a dynamic ship going on here. I did want to show these angry robots the radio. Maybe they'll do something with it. These wild things would not be impressed with my high-tech trinket. All right, then. So, let's go back to Vela. Maybe there's other parts of the ship we can adventure there and find out what might be going on. One thing I noticed is the coloring. You can actually almost see burn marks of the old wires and wires being attached to it. It's just, the weird part is I don't know where this guy goes. Like, where do I put him to actually charge him back up? I don't know. Well, we can do that. We can do this. And then I'm going to, uh, maybe not. I don't know, there's this one over here. This one like this burn mark. And then there's another burn mark here. That might work if I did it in the right order because this is green 
and this is green. So if I could do that in a different order, that's what would work. Um, because the red, the green one's definitely here. Like, what is the first one? Blue. And then this sort of has a red tint to it, and this is a blue tint. So if we can do this one first, and then do this one second, and then this one third, the thing is, is finding out which one, like, do you go this to this, or do you go that to that? Because that matters here. Which makes it a lot more different combinations. Um, I'm not sure. I would say it's explosion to non-explosion, but I'm not sure. Let's try that one more time, like this, and then like this. Oh, no, 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 go back, go back. And this terminal goes... And then go like this. Wire this terminal. And, oh, ah, it's alive! There's the old gal I know. So it didn't need to be charged at all. Can I pick you back up? Yes, I can. Hell you. <laughs> awesome. And now we can't go through here. Rats. This one's not opening either. Okay then. So what are we doing? What are we attempting here? Can I uh, go through here maybe? No, nope, nope. Okay. So now I need to find what I can do with this hexy gal. So can I show this to her? What will she do? Um. Just about nothing. <laughs> Shows a flashlight to her. Like, yep, she's safe. Everything's good and nothing happens. All right then, at this point, I think I want to switch back to Shane um, and see what else we can do because Shane's still dealing with, uh, well, these guys. Um, I want to go back up though. I'm hoping that going back up won't bring Alex back because that would be awkward and he's back. But will let me always go down now? It will. So even though Alex is up here in the main room, I'm always allowed to come back down here again. We do not need to do that thing again, which is good. That's a very good thing. Um, let's talk to him then. Hey, Alex, maybe Bella is trying to overheat the death ray on purpose. What possible purpose could she have in burning us all to death? Well, I'm sure she's doing it for some reason. Why? You've never even met her. Just a hunch, I guess. Okay, I'm starting to like him. A little. I like how they sort of, she must have a reason. And he must have had a reason last of, I love this flip-flopped connection. <laughs> it is so dang cool. Is there anything else we can talk to him about? No, not quite. Okay then. So, that Hexapal before in Vale's area did not need the coordinates we found. So the only thing I can imagine is that we can re-coordinate this Hexapal. Hey, little Hexapal, come with me. There's somebody I want you to meet. Sorry. She only wants to dance now. Not interested. Hmm. My name's Alex. What about this? Oh, is this a radio? Oh, wait, maybe the radio can work then. I wish I knew how to fix this. Hey, there little you Hexapal. You still have some electrical geniusness deep in there somewhere? Sorry. She's all about the rhythm now. Hey! Oh. Well, look at that. This tinkering must be wired in on a deeper level. <laughs> and he's already done. Still, better come with me. Aww. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be mean, but we're sort of trying not to get blown up and see your sister be exploded. Wait, is the door closed now? It was closed, but we can come back down. Alrighty then, so I have this guy. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Nope. Like, Hello? Okay, so the radio works, but it's not like a Anyone dance boombox radio, and what about you? You have your wiring like this. That's and your dance pattern, Rocky figured out. Okay. So what is this right here? Let's figure this out. Let's get to the bottom of this. So it's filled, not filled, not filled, up and down, filled, up and down. Okay. I'll try to figure. I'll try to figure that out. Maybe I can. And if we can, can we see here, it plays the harp. So maybe we could get it. Maybe we could get it so that like you can play the harp and soothe the robots away. <laughs> I have no clue. All right, so he's currently up and down triangle, up and down, left and right, up and down triangle. <laughs> All right then, so I need to get to the bottom of this. It might not be easy. It might just take a lot of tinkering. All right then, so I got this first part done, filled and unfilled. Now I gotta figure out the other parts. It's gonna be tough. All right then, so I got filled, unfilled, unfilled and up and down. Now I think the final one I need is filled and up and down. So that would be this some wire and here. that. That's the heart playing pattern, I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, that made the heart playing. Then that's what we need. Okay, then. I think this is what we need, because this is the heart playing pattern. Now, should I bring it to the harp? Let's bring it to the harp and see what find, well, like what happens, what could you know, actually happen here. Um, I don't know. Will it play the harp? It will, it starts jamming out. 
Well, that looks right, at least. He's actually pretty good. I think I'll let him play for a while. Yeah, that's enough heart music for now. Okay, then. So what happens if I bring him to the music balance he's got over here? They're, these guys all had musical instruments. They were all jamming out. I feel like they, they could go for a good band party. So what happens if we do this? Beatbox battle! Oh, they love them! Wow, they really like you. Maybe a little too much. I'd better not leave you here with them. Oh. But I want them to come with me. Like, can I get them to follow? Maybe I can like put the radio here. Like. I think Alex would make better use of this radio. Wait. Okay. Should I give it to Alex then? Oh yeah. Well, he can use the radio. I don't know what to do at this point, because I really, really want them to, uh, get over here and help us, but I'm not sure. Here, let's, what about this? Shay's doing a lot of work this episode, though, for sure. Old thing working. Never mind. Let me have it. I can use it to call Laruna and straighten out this mess once and for all. Okay. Hopefully they're figuring that out. <laughs> He's giving it that weird look. But if, oh gosh, now they're hearing. Hi! How are, how are you guys? Um, ah! Oh no, they're chasing me. They're chasing me. I'm going this way. Um, yeah, let's go in here. Let's see if we can't distract them to come in here. <laughs> this is horrifying. Um, maybe they'll come with us. I'm not sure. Oh, here they come, here they come. <laughs> They're ready to kick our butts out. Jeez. The guy has like a screwdriver. The guy has a bow and arrow. <laughs> yeah, tickle those strings. He's actually pretty good. I think I'll let him play for a while. All right, they're gonna tune out here. They're just gonna mellow out while they listen to some nice har harp tunes. And we're gonna go and check out what's over here. <laughs> awesome. I don't know what's gonna be over here, but hopefully it's something good. Um, what is this thing? It's like a big lever. Um. What? Oh, it's the mallet. Hey, this switch is just an old drum mallet. I hope the engine's not just an old tuba. That would be weird, but either way, we got this item. What is this? Not much of anything. There is some stuff over here. What are we gonna find? <laughs> There's so much awesome stuff happening in this episode. But either way, as we walk into this new area, we find yet another mallet. I guess we'll find out what this is in the next episode. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to give it a like, share it with your friends and family, and comment in the comment section below. What do you think about some of the crazy things we've done in today's episode? And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.